So sometimes, no pain when Queen tried to slash his throat. But he realized that his sword was broken due to the, ex the exoskeleton that Sanji now has, which is a nightmare to probably come true when he realized about his family, which we knew how he's being chased by a queen. But Nami's group trying to figure out what they have to do to find how to get to the other. But they saw Kimon's lower half, meaning that he wasn't completely reattached by the wall. So Usopp and his group decided to take the legs and go towards the other way to where they had to go. In which we knew someone was going to find where they needed to go. Elsewhere we saw Robin and Brooke were trying to run away from Kyle's men who was trying to capture her, knowing how they are trying, but the means have saved their life. As soon as they got to leave, they were approached by CD Zero, knowing that she knew that they were going to apprehend her and turn her over to the government, knowing that they're actually in trouble now. But we see how Kanjuro have actually realized of the voice from Orochi, knowing that she is still alive, but only an hour before his death, he's using the last bit of his strength to create a giant monster, which he said that he can actually use it to spread the fire. She imagines his friends and his family in a clan, which everyone is battling their respective opponents while the fire is spreading, including Luffy and Kaido, knowing that Onigashima is on a collision course to Wano. So now that everyone is actually battling in Onigashima, we see Kanjuro try to burn everything into the ground with his dying breath. So we're going to see what's going to happen in the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment everything about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. So then, this is Anime Kaju, I'm here saying sign out. Laters, and be safe.